I appreciate you. Let's go. Doom years. Top 5 reasons to play Doom in 2021. Number 5. Number 4. Number 3. I've been accused of a 15 year old boy. Number 2. Number 1. Whenever you hear the word Doom today, you probably think of Doom Eternal, right? But if I say classic Doom, you probably think of something like this. And to be fair, yeah, you can buy Doom from Steam and play it on the original DOSBox version. But there are only two reasons to do that. Nostalgia Rush? Or if you're a kid in Yemen who's trying to build a computer rig purely from metal scrap left by the horrors of the Civil War, what if I told you that Doom today looks like this? What the hell is this? But, but Brolic, what is Doom? Yeah, shut the fuck up, you already know what Doom is. By 2021, the classic Doom community has grown larger than Midilad's criminal record. Do people like actually laugh at this shit? The number of mods to install and play has become limitless. Doom is now very modern with its choice of source ports, endless setting customizations, and even VR compatibility. Each mod in a sense is its own game. You can play anything from custom map packs to fully modded campaigns to a variety of multiplayer servers. The simple graphics have their own appeal and are definitely a plus, as it makes the game incredibly easy to mod and make custom stuff for. Speaking of which, there are tons of modding and map making tools that even a person like you can get into, as they're all very simple and user friendly. What I am going to explain to you today is how Doom works and how to play it properly. You see, all this mod magic comes from one simple thing. The source ports. So the source ports are fan-made ports of the original Doom source codes. And yeah, there are plenty of source ports to choose from in the Doom community. But let's be real. Unless you're a sweaty, vanilla pure, or a hardcore, extreme pizza-eating speedrunner, there are only two source ports that you should give a shit about. That being GC Doom and Zendronum. GC Doom is by far the most advanced source port, which allows you to play any Doom game or mod the way you want to. Do you want to play the game pure vanilla? You can. Do you want to play the game with modern controls and resolution? You can. Do you want to play all the endless mods available? You can. Except. The only thing that sucks about GZ Doom is multiplayer compatibility. This is where Zendronum kicks in. Zendronum runs on an older version of GZ Doom, so it has very similar settings. But unlike GZ Doom, Zendronum has a very user friendly and optimized multiplayer experience. In a way, it feels like Gary's mod, without the missing textures. We can just join any server through the server browser and automatically download the mods required. Also comes with a nice launcher. The base and modded games are called iWads. What you have to do first is get the iWad you want to play and mod. If you only care about Doom, then all you need to do is get the Doom 2.iWad. How you acquire it is up to you. You can buy the original Doom from Steam on sale for extremely cheap, or find it on the internet somewhere else. Once you have acquired the iWads, you can follow my Discord guide on installing them with Zendronum. Then you can install GZ Doom and place it into Zendronum folder. That way you can have everything folded nicely into one folder and play both source ports respectively when needed. Now you can play unmodded Doom games by clicking the GZ Doom or Zendronum launcher, with an endless amount of settings and customizations to your preference. The base and modded games are called iWads, while the mods are called PWads, or more simply WADs, as well as Picky 3, which are... Oh boy, well looks like now you're 100% ready to jump into gaming! Hey yo, what the fuck? Huh? Oh no, with Hawaii. <laughs> Welcome little cut to my realm, but it's fucking... <laughs> eh, 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 I'm in desire, I need... Wow. 